Hi, Nathan here from the photography team. I've, I'm out for a walk today and I'm bringing out the uh, Practica LTL camera with an Optomax 135mm lens. I'm shooting Ilford HP5 400 ISO speed film. Um, we're quite sunny today with clouds so uh, the exposure is going to sort of remain relatively the same but what I want to do is uh, I want to try out the Sunny 16 reel for the first time. I've never really used that uh, method for exposure. Um, most of my cameras have built-in meters. Unfortunately, the meter in this camera is broken. So I'm going to just go for a little wander about and um, take a few pictures and see how I got on using the Sunny 16 reel. So for those of you that aren't aware of the Sunny 16 reel or haven't used it before, um, it's, it's a tried and tested method of sort of estimating your exposure um, using the weather conditions. Now basically to start off with, if you're using um, an ISO 400 film, then what you do is you set your shutter speed to 400 or the nearest to that. So in my case with this camera, the nearest is 500. 500th of a second um, and then you leave those you leave those set and what you do is you'll look at um, you'll change your aperture let's wait for this car to pass so you'll change your aperture um, relative to the weather conditions so again going back to the uh, initial settings if you use an ISO 100 film then set your shutter speed to nearest to 1 100th which will probably be 125th on uh, most film cameras and if it's clear bright sun then say 16 you add your you set your shut uh, so your aperture to f16 so ISO 400 film shutter speed 400 or nearest to two and your um, aperture to f16 and that should give you a good exposure now if you have some light clouds like we have today then what is suggested is that you go down and stop with the aperture so you'll go down to f16 sorry f11 um, if it becomes overcast and again you go down to f8 and so on so we're going to have a try um, with this camera and looking at the weather today we are um, sunny with the odd cloud so i'm going to be probably looking at uh, an aperture of f11 so we're going to try some shots using an aperture f11 and we'll see how we get on Now, obviously, one of the issues of using Sunny 16 reel is that 
the aperture is quite small so trying to get a depth of field is not really ideal um, you can adjust for that um, however with most film cameras they only go up to like a one thousandth uh, shutter speed so it's very difficult unless you want to use um, ND filters so um, most of the shots I've been taking have been at f11 because of the uh, sort of overcast day but obviously we did have sun so now if you can see no shadows so sun's gone behind some clouds so what we need to do now is stop down again so we're going to be looking or opening up sorry we're going to be going to f8 which is um, overcast with no shadows if it was heavily overcast as in quite quite full of clouds then we go down again to um, 56 but while the sun is behind a cloud we'll go to f8 and we'll try that So now I'm walking into some tree cover, which obviously is going to be quite shady. So according to the, the rule, we need to shut down again, um, or open up, shall I say. I'm going to go to F4, which is what um, shade equates to. So we'll try some shots in here at F4 and see if that works. Now, as I've left the wooded area, the sun's come out again. Um, we still have clouds in the sky, so according to the rule, we're going to be back to F11. Throughout the day, I haven't touched my shut speed, haven't touched my ISO. All I've changed is the aperture. So back to F11. So again, another change in the weather. Um, it's still cloudy, but the sun is now behind the clouds, and I don't have a shadow, so I'm going to go to um, to F8. So I just want to clarify a little thing. I have been saying that I've set the ISO to 400. Obviously we're, we're a film camera, so you don't need to set the ISO on the camera, but it's just a, a guide. So if you put your ISO switch to 400, then you know obviously what speed film you've got and you can match your shutter speed accordingly. But ISO um, on a camera that you're not using the meter is not really going to make any difference to your exposure. So as I'm walking around, I'm. I'm here at uh, a place called Furs Lane in um, sort of Felthorpe, Taverham area of Norwich. And I just wanted to, to show you this road. It, this closed in 2016 when they built a dual carriageway, which is over there. Uh, this road was closed, but what's interested me is, is in that short time how the road is sort of been um, has been taken over by nature so you can still see the slow signs in the road I'll just show you so you can see I mean you know a few years ago you could get two cars down here um, and it just sort of shows you how quickly nature can take over when left untouched So again, we've got some more weather change. Should be able to see I have a um, shadow now. So, we, but we still have clouds. So, 
time to close the aperture down a bit back to f11. If you are interested, um, I've been shooting this today on, on a Sony WX500, which is a, a relatively old camera. Um, shoots in HD, um, has a 3.5 to 6.4 aperture lens. There's no manual control, so everything's, everything's automatic. Um, and I've been using the built-in mic so be interesting to see how that's how that sounds but yeah just a cheap old WX 500 Sony camera okay so I finished a roll just used um, the last few shots taking some pictures of my dogs in the garden but um, let's get those developed and let's see whether whether my first attempt at using the Sony 16 reel has actually worked um, for my images Obviously, with this method, if you are out, hopefully you're only out by a stop, so it's not too much of an issue, and it's something that you obviously can uh, edit in in post. So, I'll, for the purpose of this, I use um, Ilfo Tech DDX. Um, so I'm going to um, develop them now, get them on the computer, and we'll see how we got on. If you use the darkroom bag method, well, even a darkroom uh, method of getting your film into your canister, make sure you take off your Apple Watch. <laughs> because if that turns on in the bag, you're screwed. Okay, first off, I want to apologise again for the audio quality. Um, <laughs> that's a learning curve for me. I, I didn't realise it was going to be so windy. Um, I need to buy some little um, covers for the for the microphone ports here to reduce the wind noise so I do apologize about that but looking over the images I think I um, I need a bit more practice on the sunny 16 rule uh, a lot of my images were overexposed and I, I believe that that is um, during the start when I was saying that it was sunny but there was clouds in the sky I was at f11 I ultimately needed to be at f16 so that's a learning curve but as you'll see um, all the images are have been recovered so um, haven't lost any images nothing was 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 that bad that it couldn't be recovered however I do feel that yes I do need a little bit more practice in the sunny 16 rule and I also can't guarantee the um, the accuracy of the shutter speeds on the um, practical camera but that's actually the first time I used that camera so it could also be a sticky shutter there and it's um, uh, it's not accurate but ultimately that was um, me testing out the Sony 16 rule um, like you said like I said all the images were recovered but I think I need a little bit more practice and um, I should have um, closed the aperture down just a little bit more but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please comment, like and subscribe. There's going to be some more videos uh, soon using a Leica M5. So follow us for that.